all right uh i will come you to my youtube channel it's a brand zara so basically today we are looking at uh, the saliva secretion the mechanism of saliva secretion mechanism of saliva secretion okay so basically today we're looking at saliva secretion so uh we all know of these three famous uh, saliva glands we've got uh, a subligo which is under the the tongue we've got a palatide and you have a sub uh, maxillary or the sub mandibular so all these three uh, uh, glands that i've mentioned they all have a general a structure they all have a general structure and they all have a general structure which is this one you have this structure so they have the uh the akina cells they have the myoepithelial cells and they have a ductile they have the ductile cells so these uh, saliva glands they are controlled by the autonomic nervous system autonomic nervous system uh, nervous system which deals with the, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic so sympathetic and the parasympathetic so these saliva glands are uh, Innervated by the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. So we'll also look at the, the mechanism or the the effect that the sympathetic and the parasympathetic has on the saliva glands. So uh, when so we start. So when the the glands are uh, innervated by either the sympathetic or the parasympathetic, these akina cells. They will release what you call the isotonic plasma-like saliva, which is not actually saliva itself, but it's actually just uh, semi-saliva, uh, which is called the isotonic plasma-like uh, saliva. So that saliva, isotonic, will come down, will come down through the duct to the duct cells so there are some mechanism of action that takes place in the duct cells so the duct cell can be simplified to be like this so if we just get one block of the duct cells so basically it is like this it has what you call the uh, lumin the lumina uh, membrane and it has what you call the basoletro so this is what you call the basoletro so this is what you call the basoletro membrane so the lamino uh, membrane the lamina lumina membrane this has three uh, exchange exchange pumps that you can see or channels so we have the first one which you call the this one what you, which you call the sodium hydrogen exchange then of the chloride uh, hydrocarbonate exchange and what, the last one is what you call the hydrogen potassium uh, exchange then on the basoletro we have a chloride channel and what and we have what we call the sodium potassium ATPase. so basically this one uses atp so when the isotonic plasma uh, saliva when it's coming from the akina cells as it reaches the ductal cells there's an exchange of sodium so sodium and chloride will be removed from the isotonic plasma uh, from the isotonic plasma uh, saliva which has been secreted by akina cells so sodium will leave Chloride will also leave and, and uh, 
a carbonate so carbonate carbonate will go in and potassium also go in so you have to take note to say sodium goes out chloride also goes out then hydro then uh, a carbonate and potassium goes in and mixes with the isotonic plasma like uh, plasma like uh, saliva so what you just have to take note is to say the ductile cells there's an uh, the removal of sodium chloride and is the going in of potassium hydrocarbonate to form saliva so this mechanism makes the saliva to have a pH from the glands to be 6.35 to 6.85 uh, so that's the pH of saliva it's a bit acidic due to the exchange of ions here so now let's look at So now let's look at uh, the mechanism the mechanism of the parasympathetic and the sympathetic on the salivary gland so the uh, when the salivary glands are innervated by the parasympathetic these akina cells release uh, isotonic plasma like saliva which contains which contains less less solids or organic so there's less solid in the saliva which is secreted by the glands when they are innervated by the parasympathetic but when they are innervated by the uh, sympathetic these saliva glands they secrete uh, isotonic plasma like saliva which contains uh, a lot of solids in it so basically that's a difference between the mechanism that the parasympathetic and the sympathetic has on the uh, saliva glands so basically we end here so this is a mechanism of saliva secretion don't forget to subscribe and share the video and join me in our next video. Thank you.